made you uh, decide that now was the right time? Well, I think what I was saying earlier on, that I was going to wait to the end of the year to make a, a final determination on our coach, and it just became more and more evident to me and, and clearer and clearer that Dan was the guy I really wanted to move forward with. And, um, I asked myself the question, why wait? And uh, timing-wise, it felt like the good thing to do, the right thing to do for both Dan and his family. And uh, having a few days off here between uh, rounds one and two was probably the right time as well for our team and uh, very well deserved. Uh, it is a multi-year contract. That's going to be our, our statement from the team. And um, it might be longer than any contract he has as a player, you have to ask him. But I think it was right away, uh, you know, I, I knew Dan when he was in Wilkesbury, obviously, and I knew him before we came, but um, uh, quite honestly, I think it was the, his first game against the Islanders, and the next day I spent 45 minutes with him, and I said, since we really didn't have a formal interview, that was about it, so, um, but I was, I mean, he, he's a real bright guy, um, you know, you talk about passion, you talk about enthusiasm, you talk about changing your environment for your hockey team, um, you know, above all, I think Dan's a very smart hockey guy. Uh, I, I, you know, there's whirlwind was used yesterday. I've heard that word a couple times throughout the year. Um, you know, I, I think I'm the type of person that has short-term goals and long-term goals, and, and uh, you know, yearly I evaluate those and adjust them. And the beginning of this year was not, you know, one of my short-term goals or for the year was not to coach in the National Hockey League. You know, I, I think you, when you, you hope and you have goals and dreams about how think it's going to go for you and uh, this certainly happened quicker than I expected or could have expected or anyone expected but if you, you want to be confident about a future outcome of the situation and you have to act like it you have to work towards it and you have to believe in it and that's what I, that's what I'm passionate about as a hockey coach uh, believe in the players helping the players create an environment that we have a chance to get better as individuals and, and as a team and you go about working about it every day, the best you can, the hardest you can, and then you get up and you do it again. I think as a coaching staff, we knew the players were going to buy in, and we knew the players were going to believe in the way we thought we could play and needed to play. And, you know, certainly there's haven't gone without trials and, and certainly question marks, I'm sure, by the players or times when our play on the ice has not been perfect. But, um, you know, I, I knew pretty much at that point that this was we were going to have a positive result that the guys were going to buy in that we were going to move in the right direction and like that we got uh, winning a Stanley Cup on there somewhere <sighs> I got to think it would be one of my goals yeah